talking about Squarespace. Okay, so I'm going to try to give you a run through today on um, the basics. Um, I'll share my screen, try to point out um, the things that are important um, in order for you to build your website. So there's a lot that Squarespace can do, but you don't need to know or be an expert on all of it in order to, to, um, to use the application itself. The platform, of course, as you know, they cater to um, individuals who have no design experience and can try to create their own, but they also give designers and developers um, the tools of the trade to build something completely custom uh, on the awesome platform itself. So um, the reason I love Squarespace, uh, it's quite simple, it's easy to use. It's very easy for a client to pick up and learn. It's the easiest content management system out there to understand, um, even more so than WordPress, and I'm a big WordPress fan as well. So that said, let's get going. I already went ahead and created um, a new trial uh, site here. First thing you're gonna notice um, in the bottom right corner, this will appear anytime you are logged into your site and you are out on the front side of it. So there's three uh, main areas here. You have um, a pencil, which means um, stands for content, basically. So if you wanted to edit a specific page, you can click on the Manage Page button itself, and it'll take you to the back end. Uh, so the way that works, you could go to the blog. The page will load up. You can click on that pencil, and then you can edit this specific page. Um, but there's a way to get to each page in the back end. Uh, once you're there, but um, this is another quick way to do so. If you click the X button, it flips back around and you'll see a paintbrush. Uh, the paintbrush is really for people who, um, you know, don't, they're not developers, they're not designers. Um, here you're given the basics to change um, a selection of items on your site. So things like background colors, um, you can change the font, uh, the size of your font, the headings, mostly just the global elements. Um, you can't uh, get at everything um, in your entire site here. To do that, you need to be a designer or a developer where you can um, write specific CSS. Uh, you wouldn't want to go in this area if, um, if you're not a designer or developer um, because really it's, it's just a code editor, which is um, where I'm at most of the time when, when I work on any kind of custom site. But for people who are just you know, trying to create their own site, this is this is great. It gives you a selection of tools to try a few things. Um, generally, you can only get so far with it, um, and you might need a little extra help in order to really uh, make the design custom and, and knock it out of the park. But um, it's fine. You know, you can come in here and try a few things. The last icon here on the bottom right is the uh, gear, which really stands for your site settings or managed site. If I go ahead and click that gear, it's going to take me around to the back end of the site. And here, um, this is where you're going to be if you're, you want to update content, which is probably what you're going to want to do the most. Um, so on the left side, you have an eyeball icon, which stands for preview. That just flips you back to the front side of the site. A stands for content, and when you clicked on that A, um, the middle menu is your pages, which are your navigation. You can see right here it says main navigation. Um, so when I click on the about page, if I want to change some text um, and I didn't want this to say nonprofit, I can simply just highlight it, delete it, and you're going to get a little prompt that pops up on the bottom asking you if you want to save your changes. In this case, I don't want to. You can click cancel, hit revert, and it will put things back the way um, they were. So that's great in case you ever uh, change something and, and you don't want it to go live right away, you can just cancel it. Um, you'll notice it gives you some basic options. You can bold things, left align, right align, there's a link button, um, some headings. This is just the basics. Um, really all you need to, to uh, manage your content. Below the uh, content icon is your traffic section and this is um, really just gives you basic stats on who's visiting your site daily. Anything from referrers, um, here this is a trial site so you're not going to see any data, but popular content, search queries, that's how people are Googling you, etc. Um, for anything more than this, I mean, I'd recommend Google Analytics uh, as it's more in-depth, but 
if you're just looking for a basic snapshot each day, um, traffic overview is really all you need. The gear section uh, is really for a little more geared towards designers and developers. Um, there are some, some things you could come back here and change, like your settings. I usually tell my own clients to avoid this area because I usually set this up. There are things you could break if you don't know what you're doing. Um, if you're paying for, say, a custom design, but if you're just trying out Squarespace and playing around, by all means come in and, and try some things out. Um, one area where you might come into is connected accounts, is where you can hook up your uh, uh, Facebook or Twitter or, um, right into the site itself. There's an e-commerce platform built right into Squarespace now. It's only available with the business plan, I believe. Um, so Really, if you don't need e-commerce, you can completely ignore this. Most people don't uh, don't need it on a basic site. If you do, um, at some point I will do a, another overview on exactly how this works because it, it's quite in-depth um, and it's awesome. Uh, it's an awesome platform to use. Last but not least, we have the help section. and um, Squarespace is known to have some of the best customer support on the planet. Uh, there's often times where I email them with um, any questions or, or a problem that I might be having with the site and it, I could come in here and submit a ticket and get a response within 15 minutes, uh, sometimes less, um, and, and they usually get to the bottom of the problem fast and if it has to be escalated, um, they'll, they'll get their engineers involved, which is, which is great um, for developers who need, who need help. Um, so that's the basic overview on how the back end works, really where you're going to be the most is right here in your content. You're going to be in these pages, um, updating text, you know, double clicking, changing of photos, um, you know, trying things for your for your website. Of course the other area you will be is down on the front end and this is where you're going to look at the changes that you've just made. So there you go. Really what I showed you today is just how to get around the platform in general. Uh, it's the basics. I scratched the surface. There's so much more this platform can do and I will try to show you going forward. Um, but for now, that concludes the video. My name is Trevor and you can find me at hopcreative.com.